Welcome back to the Brown Bob YouTube channel. Today's video we are working on the scoot ski. I've been seeing tons of you guys tag me in ones on um, Instagram and Facebook. The one that you guys saw was not me. Um, mine's still getting done as you'll be able to see right here. You will see it on the news. It will make the news and it will make social media it better at least. So in today's video I'm sanding down the ski, getting it all ready and prepped for paint and I'm going to start the first layer of primer and then I may even get to painting it today so if that's the case you'll be able to see the sanding the cleaning it up with acetone taping it off and then primer and possibly paint Ooh, fogging up so I'll <laughs> I like the effect it's gonna be man of your dreams so anyways what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and let this defrost because it is, it is super hot out here in Florida and I'm going to go ahead and start getting to the sanding. So you can see any areas that there were cracks in the top coat, the gel coat or whatever you want to call it, I think is what it is for the skis here. I have sanded this smooth so any of these cracks are now gone. Same thing goes for the front here. There was some spots that are pretty rough. So I went ahead and sanded these all down. The bumper was probably the worst. So you can see there, that's good. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually going to just scuff all this up so that I can go ahead and get a good base for the primer to adhere to. So that's what I'm going to start doing now. Yeah, yeah. And you don't stop, and you won't stop. Yeah, and you don't. Alright, so it is all sanded down. I have. The trim all masked off with the uh, plastic skirt that hangs off it. It's something I picked up on Amazon. I know it works good in houses when you're doing walls and you want to keep stuff taped off. So I have that. The whole the whole hole is all sanded down, so it's ready for primer. What I'm going to do next is just go over it with um, some acetone, clean it all up, make sure everything's good. I still have to. Um, cut off where I have taped here around the stickers so that those stickers right there can still be there I want to keep them so I'll do that and then as well as these ones here tape that and then trace around it with a shirt or exacto knife so those are probably the last few things before I start getting ready for primer with this I'm super pumped because this is getting it closer to being placed on that bike and being able to ride this thing and enjoy it. So I'm pumped for that. All right, so it's starting to get dark here to now. The next scene, you're gonna see me start getting ready to prime this. It'll be another day. Don't worry. All right, so I went ahead and primed it. I just threw the first layer of paint. I used that new turbo paint like I was showing you. Uh, if you haven't seen it before, I saw it on social media is the, I'm using the gloss white Rust-Oleum turbo paint. It has a really good coverage, which is nice. So it took a little bit to get used to. I bought one can thinking like, you know, look at the size of this can. You would think it would throw out at least three coats or two coats, I'd say. I maybe got one coat on there. So I had to go out and buy three more. Luckily Home Depot had this in stock. I ordered the first one off Amazon. It was actually cheaper at Home Depot, $10. So. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera on the tripod and then throw on my second coat. I'm going to try to do at least like four to five coats. I bought three cans, so I'm going to use everything up on it. This way I can get a nice heavy coat on it and then once it all cures, I'm going to go ahead and wet sand it and then I'm going to cut it, buff it, and then it should be good to go and put the stickers on. So 
That's the plan. Just to let you guys know, I'm not a professional painter. I'm just gonna be rattle canning this thing, sending it on there. I have five, six coats. I know I'm gonna get some criticism for how I'm painting. I'm not a professional painter. This jet ski's not worth anything. There's a hole in the bottom of it. So it doesn't really bother me much. I will try to make it as clean as I can. I'm not just gonna go ahead and do a terrible job. And then I will do some proper precautions when in the garage. Second coat's down. It says to give it 15 minutes to dry and then hit third coat, or at least that's what I saw in other YouTube videos. I am not gonna give it 15 minutes. I'm gonna give it a lot longer than that. Let it dry up and then come in for the third coat. Okay, so I have about four coats of paint on this right now. See, it looks a lot better. There is fish eye in there. It isn't perfect. There's some um, little dimples and whatnot. I, I know there's fish eye, I mean, a little debris and stuff like that because I am doing it in the garage and it's not a controlled environment here. But overall, not bad. It already has a nice little shine to it as it is. So I'm going to give it like a day and then I will. Wet sand it with some 2000 grit, clean it up, and then cut it, buff it. After that, I have to paint the bumper trim purple. So I'll be doing that. And then after that, I can put this finally on the scooter and get all the electrical uh, ran through and make sure everything's good. And hopefully maybe by the end of this week, take the first ride on, at least around my neighborhood on this uh, scoot ski. So I'm pretty pumped about that. So now it's time to let it cure and we'll come back tomorrow, see how it looks. All right, so that's gonna conclude it for today's video. I did the painting of the bike as you saw. I'm letting it cure, then I'm gonna go ahead and wet sand it, I'm gonna buff it, cut it, all that good stuff. Once that's done, then I'm gonna put the stickers on, paint the trim, do a bunch of little stuff, and then we'll get this thing going. I know you're like, what's up with the glasses? My contacts are bothering me. Give me a break, don't make fun of me, all right? So I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.